Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Bye. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to know you are awesome then. You are great. Thank you for joining on class. And thank you for joining together, guys. What about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Let's wait for the rest to join to the class and thank you for joining on time, okay? How was your day? <clears throat> Very heavy. Heavy? Oh my yes. God. Yes. A lot of work. It's a day hard. A lot of work, right? We almost done who does this and then we will we will go to uh we will go to rest, okay? In two hours we will go to rest. <laughs> Hello Marielos, hi Emmanuel, hi Marcos, Amilcar, hi Jose, hi Jessica, hi Luis Alberto, hi Mabel, hi Kenny. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Christian. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hi, good evening, coach. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? You look a little bit sad today, coach. Why? I don't know. You don't know. Mm. There are some days that you don't know why you are sad, right? Mm, that happens. It happens Wednesday, maybe. It happens to me sometimes. That you you feel sad and you don't know why. I feel tired today. Oh, oh my god! We are with you today, coach. And it's Tuesday, right? Listen, there's going to be a big storm in some minutes. Did you hear that? No? No, right? Maybe not because the app is on. Hi, May. Welcome. But I hope that you can feel better, Emmanuel, after this class. <laughs> and you don't feel <laughs> uh, sad, okay? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Guys, are you ready with your sticker? The sticker? Oh, oh, you know what, Emmanuel? Let's look for a sad sticker then. Uh, sad stickers are funny, right? Some of them are funny. <laughs> yeah, just I heard something uh, about the sticker, but I don't hear anything. Ah, oh, okay, don't worry. Um, yesterday, I asked you, hi guys, how are you? And then you will, uh, then you answered with the emoji. You sent uh, to the group and no, an emoji, depending on your mood, depending on how you felt. And today I asked you to bring or to look for a sticker. Good, good evening. So you will send us a sticker that best represent the, your mood, how you feel. Un sticker que le represente cómo se sienten este día, guys. All right. So, um, let's look for that sticker right now. Y mandan el sticker de how how do you how do you feel? How are you today? Send us a sticker that best represents your mood. Okay. Ya no va a ser el emoji. Ahora va a ser el sticker. Okay. I'm looking for that. Oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that, Jaime, but thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Ezekiel. That's a great sticker. You are like active, right? Active to be in class. <laughs> I really love those cats. Um, oh, you don't feel well. 
Okay, great. Let me look for my sticker, okay? For my sticker, the best represent my mood. Let's see. Um, okay, great, Marielos. Okay, if I see one of your stickers that I like it, I, I will steal that sticker, guys. <laughs> oh, wow, Emmanuel. <laughs> great, Sabrina. Okay, very good, Luis. I got yours. Let's see. Let me look for my sticker, okay? I'm still looking for my sticker and I can find it. I said I was tired, right? So I'm looking for a tire sticker. Okay. What about sticker, Julio Cesar? Julio Cesar, do you have one? Happy. Okay. I happy. feel happy. Perfect. Thank you. I'm still looking for my, uh, for my, okay, Daniel, very good. <laughs> okay. Mm, Mr. Jaime, you were sick. <laughs> oh my God, I was looking for the sticker that I have, that I'm, I, I'm, I'm seeing right now. And I didn't use it before. No les ha pasado que tienen tantos stickers que se pierden y de repente lo ven y dicen, oh my God, tenía este sticker, ¿por qué no? Pero believe it or not, I have, I haven't found mine. Oh yes, I am like that. I sent my sticker already. <laughs> like tired, okay? Like tired, not asleep, tired. <laughs> exhausted, 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 okay? Oh my God, I got a lot of stickers, guys. A lot of stickers. Say of the sticker. I believe I have more than, let's see, more, more than 900 stickers now. <laughs> Sorry, but I have that amount. What about the rest of you guys? How are you? Mándenos un sticker dependiendo de cómo se siente. Oh, I like that guiño, guiño. <laughs> I like that cat. <laughs> Luis Gomez, what about that sticker? <laughs> Guys, send us a sticker depending on how you feel. Mándenos un sticker depende de cómo se siente. Dance Dinora. Don't you have more stickers? I got one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> Exhausted, right? Exhausted. Yes. Did you send your sticker already, guys? No, maybe. Come on, guys. Don't don't be like that. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. Mr. Jaime. <laughs> if you want to have classes, but you don't have internet connection, right? Or your computer doesn't start. Like, okay, I want to be in English classes, but my computer is not working. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. Thank you very much for sharing your stickers, okay? I believe we will start a class. Let me get one moment. Okay, one moment. And I will open, <clears throat> sorry, the, the manual. Start with the class, okay? Guys, and did you go to Silverland already or you, you haven't gone to Silverland? No, we are full. No, mm, neither, neither. I haven't gone. It is very crowded, right? Well, based on the picture size I have seen, it's very crowded, a lot of people, right? In Silverland. So it wouldn't be a, a, a great idea if I go out it. Full the people. Excuse me? Full the people, silver, silver, silver. Yes, it's full of people. Yes. Do you know when are they going to finish with the Silverland? When are when are they ending it? Uh September 4. September. Yes, a day. Wow, really? September the 4th. They announced announce. They announced the announced the announced that, uh, Lang is open. Ay, to <laughs> hasta se me olvidó el hasta. Until <laughs> until, until until September 4. Wow. So we still have time, right? For some papas, for some papita de feria. <laughs> yes. Papa Chuka. No, Papa Chuka. I'd like to try it. It's a lot of loco. Ah, yes. With papita too. <laughs> Guys, but not. I don't know if that happens to you, like whenever you go, you're looking for the best papachucas, right? The best spot. <laughs> el, el mejor, el mejor, donde más se vende. <laughs> donde ven ustedes las papitas como que, no ven unas que son bien amarillosas, unas que, miren, y hay unas que tienen como cositas rojas. Yo no he entendido de qué son esas cositas rojas, pero yo no compro ahí. Entonces son muchas cosas que usted tiene que evaluar, ¿verdad? Que el aceite no se tan quemado. De ahí que todos ahora le han de probar. Le dice, mire amor, está caliente. <ríe> Pruébela, se la voy a calentar, dice. How, how you say elote loco? Like that, elote, elote loco. loco. Yes, elote loco. Right I mean, <laughs> even though... Um, <laughs> I but I believe that there is there is like a globally um crazy no I, I I won't believe there is a translation, but maybe 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 there is a translation about crazy maybe crazy corn, maybe crazy corn because um Mexican people they also made elote locos but they are different almost yes they are a lot of different, but maybe we can say crazy corn because it's not, no solamente lo hacen en El Salvador, sino que lo hacen también en México. So, en México, puede, podemos decir crazy corn, crazy. Lo estaba buscando con el nombre de crazy corn and it works. So, it's fine, guys. Pueden decirle crazy corn, okay? Fíjense que hay algunos, algunas traducciones que sí es, Sí es posible, ¿verdad? Pero va a depender de cuánto se usa en otros países, ¿sí? Si, por ejemplo, es 
de verdad propio, propio de Salvador y realmente usted no va a escuchar este nombre en otro lugar. Entonces no hay translation para eso. Pero por ejemplo, como los el lote loco, Crazy Coin, sí lo vemos como en otros países, so, sí hay, habría la posibilidad de que haya una traducción. ¿Cómo podemos nosotros como confirmar si eso pasa? Guys, busquémoslo, investiguémoslo. Es lo que mejor los hacemos los, los traductores, ¿verdad? Buscar en investigar y verdad hay una traducción para eso. Y como yo confirmo, es poniendo en Google, en las imágenes de Google. A veces yo me dicen, ah, se dice tan, te, por ejemplo, crazy coin. Uh, ustedes se van al, al Google, a imágenes, y ponen el, el, el nombre que le han dicho que es en inglés y lo buscan. Crazy Corn. Vamos a ver si de verdad es, eso es, dicen ustedes. Y si hay imágenes, guys. Sorry. Si hay imágenes eh, que reflejan eso que ustedes han puesto, fine, it works. So, por ejemplo, yo ahorita puse Crazy Corn y aparecen como anuncios de Crazy Corn. Aparece el lote loco en sí, entonces it works, ¿ok? Eh, pero hay unas traducciones que no. O hay unas traducciones que, eh, por ejemplo, varían muchísimo, muchísimo. Y ustedes dicen, es que no sé si es esta o la otra. Entonces usted puede buscar en Google, en las imágenes de Google, Ahí para ver cuál es la mejor traducción. No le va a decir, sino que le va a aparecer la imagen, ¿verdad? De realidad que es. Eso nos pasa a los muchos extranjeros, ¿verdad? Bueno, eh, sí, a los, a los que estamos aprendiendo un idioma extranjero, perdón. O a los que estamos aprendiendo, sí, un idioma extranjero más que todo, un segundo idioma que no estamos relacionados. Entonces acá, si nosotros estamos en El Salvador, es bien fácil eh, como decir un chunche, vea, un chunche, que es un chunche, usted sabe que es una cosa, en cambio, la persona que no es de acá le va a costar muchísimo entender el chunche. Entonces, un volado. Un volado, ¿verdad? Una guaracha. Va, imagínense un guarache, yo busco chunche, una persona me aparece. Entonces ahí que probablemente no, ¿verdad? No, no funciona, pero sí hay muchas traducciones que yo las he buscado así para confirmar si se maneja me, en, entre las personas, ¿sí? Si se maneja en el internet, si, si así es. O sea, ese es un tip que me, me ha ayudado muchísimo, guys. Así que pues let's start, all right. I will uh, share the screen. I will share the screen. In a moment, right now, actually. <clears throat> Let me know, please, if you see the screen, guys. Yes. Perfect. Yes, okay. So. so today, guys, we will continue uh, talking about serving and task and taking, sorry, serving and taking food orders. We will have a speaking practice, more speaking practice today about this, and this is the class number seven. In order to continue with the class, we will open the page 17 on the manual, please. We will continue with what we were working yesterday on the page 17. Please, guys, go to the page 17. Here, okay? All right. <clears throat> By the way, yesterday we were talking about some meanings, right? Some new words, handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. I'll go ahead and ask you guys to go ahead and use those words right now, okay? Let's, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation, everyone, okay? Everyone, we will have a conversation. Please pay attention. Everyone pay attention. We will make a conversation, all of you. We are 19 together. Okay, together, we, all, all of us are 19, except for the listeners, right? <clears throat> Sorry. So I will go ahead and um, make a conversation, okay? And you decide who will be continued with the conversation, okay? I'll go ahead and start. 
And then I go with, let's say, Osbin, and then Osbin continue with Daniel, and then Daniel with Sabrina, et cetera. The purpose is that everyone is speak in this conversation, okay? So the purpose is that everyone speaks and also that you use the five words that we supposed to learn yesterday, which is handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. Once again, vamos a hacer una conversación entre todos. Usted va a decidir la persona a quien le va a responder. Por ejemplo, Sabrina, uh, Estefanía, uh, Jaime, uh, René, Jaime is the listener, <laughs> Osvin, etc. Okay? And the next person will participate. You will try to use the words handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. Si usted va a hablar, su, participa su, su participación que contenga una de esas palabras, all right? En una oración, ¿sí? Haciendo una conversation. Yes? Is that clear? Teacher. Yes. Clear. Yes. No. Okay. Ready. 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 Teacher. I don't remember <laughs> what a payment. What a payment is. Teacher. I don't remember what handle is. Teacher, eh, please eh, repeat again. I need to be clear about what nah, I No, mentira, Dani. <laughs> no, we will go ahead and make a conversation together, okay? I will talk to you, all of you guys. All right, let's say, uh, hi, Daniel, how are you? Did you, um, but you know what? Vamos a hacer algo. Um, payment of one program. Vamos a, vamos a, lo voy a poner súper fácil, vaya. Puedo hacer una conversación, podemos hacer una conversación inventada y podemos hacer una conversación cierta. O sea, si yo vengo y le digo, Daniel, usted hizo el pago. Y Daniel, ¿pago de qué, teacher? <risa> sí, me entiendo, entonces eso no es real. Pero como quiero ocupar la palabra, so, let's, let's do it in that way, ¿ok? Vamos a hacerlo así, como que, ok, si, si usted le, di, le preguntó algo a Osvin, que nada que ver, sí a la corriente, ¿ok? <ríe> Let's continue. The purpose is to apply the five words. O sea, tiene que decir una palabra en medio de la conversación utilizándola. For example, Daniel, hello. Um, did you make the payment for the, uh, for the order yesterday? Did you make the payment for the order? The shoes order. The shoes that you order uh, in Amazon, did you make the payment? Uh, really no, because I forget to do the payment. I'm really sorry. Ah, utilizo payment. Very good, very good. Pero no ocupemos payment todo. Pero todo. Vámonos para greeting, notify, pay, uh, handle, confirm. Then I podría decir así como que, uh, you know what, I couldn't because I couldn't confirm if I had money. <laughs> If I have money on the car, on the credit card that I have, so I could have made the payment, teacher. Michelle, mm -hmm. I have um, I have a question for Daniel. Well, for example, payment. Del pay. No, I have I have question for Daniel. Is, okay. Is 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 a example? <laughs> Sample. Okay. For example. Yes. <clears throat> can? Yes, yes. We can, we are giving yes. examples right now before going to the conversation, okay? Estamos dando ejemplos antes de irnos a la conversación real. Pero go ahead. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, the question is for Daniel is, um, hey, Daniel, uh, can you have a and uh, um, my problem is 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 credit card with yeah, uh, my credit again, card. Please. Again, please. Uh, uh, yes. You have uh, a problem with your credit card. Can you can you um handle uh, uh, my problem? with my credit card 
Ah, can you okay, try Julius. Let me let me confirm if I can help you. Very good. That's okay. Is that Very good, guys. Yes, así that's lo, great. Así no entendí yo que usted quiere, no sé. Así. Una conversación entre know. todos vamos a ir haciendo. Ah, okay. Pero acuérdense, yo empecé con un payment con Daniel. Sigan la, el mismo ritmo, no me van a salir con otra cosa diferente. O sea, al final es hacer una conversación todos, que tenga coherencia, ¿me entiende? Puede ser inventada, sí, yes, sí. pero que tenga coherencia. Si hablamos de hacer un payment, ok, puede, puede eh, trascender la conversación de un payment a otra cosa, pero sigamos como que tenga el... Um, how do you say that? Uh, no, ritmo, no. <ríe> que tenga coherencia, coherence, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Que lleve el ritmo. ¿Ok? No vamos a hablar de payment luego de candies, I don't know. Make ¿Okay? sense. That makes sense. A conversation that makes sense, ¿ok? Is that clear, guys? Yes. Ustedes van a ir eligiendo la persona que le va a ir contestando. So, be ready, be ready. ¿Ok? Open your microphone, guys. I will start then. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, ready? Should I start? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Okay, perfect. Ezekiel, I want to tell you uh -huh. something. Um, I have a restaurant. You know what? I have a restaurant and I'm so happy because I have a restaurant. But... I have a lot of uh, workers, okay, in the restaurant. And I always say to my workers, you know what? You need to do your best in order to provide the best customer service in my restaurant. That's why I always say to my workers, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to make the greeting whenever the, the customers Op, uh, open the door whenever the customers are are um, in the restaurant. You need to have a big greeting, a big smile whenever you are smiling or whenever you're greeting a customer. Do you believe, Ezekiel, is that okay? That, I mean, the advices or the pieces of advices, the recommendation that me as a owner, I give to my workers to my employees, do you believe is that okay to greet people? I I confirm is the best way to uh, to have the best service to to the people to the customers. Yes, <laughs> the best customer service, right? Okay, Daniel Ezekiel, sorry, choose another one to continue with the conversation. Listen, guys, tratan de entender la conversación anterior porque it, it should make sense, okay? Ajá, uh -huh, sí que choose another one. Okay, Sabrina. <laughs> would you would you like to confirm if you go to this restaurant? Yes, I would like. No problem. I will handle it. I use two words, teacher. Two words. <laughs> choose another one, Sabrina, to continue with the conversation. Ya pasó. Ah, sorry, I don't, I don't este, follow your conversation. Could you repeat that? I, I just remember that Daniel asked me if I, uh, if I would like to. Ay, solo me acuerdo que le respondí. You would like to go to my, to, my, to my restaurant. I have a restaurant, okay? I'm okay. telling Ezekiel that I said to my employees that it's good to have the best greeting um, whenever they are with the customers because my purpose is that I have the best customer service in my restaurant. Okay? okay, that's why I said that it's important to have the best greeting with okay. a big smile. And Ezekiel said that he's confirming. He's confirming that that's fine. <laughs> All right. And he asked Sabrina, 
Sabrina, would you like to go to that restaurant? And Sabrina said, yes, I will go to that restaurant. I can handle it, you said, right? Yes? Yeah. All right, so yeah. try to continue with the conversation with Osvin. You need to ask something or continue with him. Uh, for example, Osvin, uh, would you like to go with us to the restaurant? And what would you like to eat? Great. I, I like to uh, try um, some some food for for confirm if the food is good. Wow, I like it. <laughs> it's good, Osvin. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Now, Osvin, choose another person. And let's continue um, the conversation with another person. Estela Mabel. Okay, Estela Mabel. Okay. Uh, do you know the restaurant, Osvin? Yes. Uh, I, I can say that the restaurant is very good. Then oh the, really? Yes. Because it's the teacher's <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I confirm the, the food is okay. excellent. Oh, thank you. I would like to confirm the the this your opinion. Um I don't remember other words. <laughs> But Candle, I payment, tried, grading, and notify. <laughs> try to, okay, thank you. I try to go with Sabrina, Osbin, and Ezekiel. Okay. And, uh, and to confirm the, the taste of the food. Okay, so you will go with Sabrina, Osbin, and Ezekiel. But, hmm, very good. But I, I will, I will like. I would like that uh, they pay the, the, the food. Oh, okay. <laughs> you would like that the payment is made uh, by them, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very I have, good. <laughs> I have a question. Luis. Okay. Luis Alberto, you know if I accept uh, other method of payment? Uh -huh. Very time. good. Uh, me too. Um, I think the uh, restaurants right now uh, they are setting um, various uh, way to pay, but uh, I think uh, that we can pay with cash or uh, church, um, and uh, it's a, a good idea. It sounds good to to try uh, the delicious food that they are serving in, in, your, in their menu. But um, really, I thinking about the time because uh, I am have to uh, uh, time to, to go to the restaurant and the, the traffic or uh, transport is very difficult to, to get in the restaurant or to get there. And um, I think uh, if um, it is in, on morning or afternoon, it's um, a little more difficult. Uh, it's better and at night. And um, uh, I will uh, notify to you uh, if I uh, can uh, to go. And um, what about uh, Yulia Sester? He talked. Okay, Julio Cesar. What do you think, Julio Cesar? What about if you go to the, oh, I have a, I have a social media. I mean, I have a um, a page 
in Instagram and WhatsApp so you can visit the restaurant. You can go and you can investigate if I have delivery. If I have delivery or what kind of met what kind of payment methods I have. There you have a tip. You can go to WhatsApp. Uh, the name of my restaurant is um, Almost Restaurant. Almost Restaurant, okay? Okay, Julio Cesar, continue. <laughs> I know Spanish. Excuse me? No Spanish. No entiendo. <laughs> Ah, we're talking about a restaurant. Sorry. Estamos hablando de Sorry. mi restaurante. Ok. Yes. <laughs> What can you tell us about it? ¿Qué nos puede decir de mi restaurante? Um, I don't know if it's shared or not. But yeah, uh, can you help us um, with the payment, for example? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yes. Can you help them with the with the payment? It, it very fancy. <laughs> it's it's very ah, fancy is it? Food. <laughs> well, how do you know, Julio Cesar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all food is a dollar. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Really okay, he divide, said that it's divide, very expensive, divide. right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Julio Cesar, choose another person so we continue the, with the conversation. Mm. Thank you, Luis Alberto. Let's see, let's continue the conversation, guys. Don't forget about this. Who will continue, Julio Cesar? I don't know. This is... Choose a this person. Is... Elija una persona para continuar uh, la conversación. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Arquímedes. Okay. Daniel yes. Arquímedes. What do you think about that, Daniel Arquímedes? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I really agree with my classmate. Yeah. Uh, Uh, me confirm. I, I am confirmed to go to the rest the, to the and this I need that invite and my other friends, my co-worker and my friends. Uh, please can Miss Ormos, can you notify that they are invited? Everyone is confirm? invited to my restaurant. <laughs> everyone, everyone, guys, you're invited. For, yes. For the payment, for the payment, we have any problem because money we have at all of us. Um, wow. I think Are you going to invite we, us? Yes, we <laughs> we we are celebrating. It's a it's a surprise that I I'm preparing for you. Because oh, okay. uh, in the future, for in the future, I hope to have a, a other meeting uh, because the the sir the service last time was excellent. Uh, okay. Let me see. Um, let me see. Oh, well, let me see, Marina Vanessa. Are you agree with me, Marina Vanessa? Are you in agreement with him? What do you think? No, it's not. It's not here. Uh, Jose Le René, maybe? Jose Emanuel. And he's like, hmm. Jose Emanuel, are you here? Jose. No. Jose Emanuel. Hi. Yes, I'm are you, are you, Daniel? Yeah. Are yes, you I agree with you, Daniel. Yes, uh -huh. by the way, uh, last weekend I went to the almost restaurant, and it's an excellent restaurant because uh, all the workers are very.
Oh, I couldn't hear you anymore. <clears throat> we couldn't hear you, right? Maybe it is the internet. So he said hey, he that he uh, already he has already went to my restaurant last last weekend. Did he say that? Or am, am I inventing that? <laughs> last weekend, right? The whole last weekend, Kel fue my restaurant to my restaurant. Yes. Uy, so yo no los escucho, guys. No, no lo escucho a nadie. Yes, teacher, he said that. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, José René, let's continue. Ah, ok, ok, hello, Emanuel, no worries, fine. Ay, oh my God. Let's continue, Emanuel. I can continue, teacher. Yes, yes, continue. Well, I share everyone's comment. Yesterday I went to the restaurant and, in, and I asked him for the order. It was fast. It was fast. Um, the waiter, the waiter, um, I, <laughs> se me paró el hamster. <laughs> <laughs> The waiter, the waiter was was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the waiter is is all waiters are polite and and in the order. Y la orden vino a mi mesa rápido. <laughs> Comes to my table very fast, right? <laughs> and the, I pay with Bitcoin. And, le, and, and later I receive the notify in my phone. Very good. The notification, right? Very good. Very okay. Good but... The restaurant was far. <laughs> no, mm, todo iba bien, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's far away. It's because it's close to the close to the beach. That's why, guys. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> okay, let's continue, Jose Rene. Who's missing? Um, I believe. Oh my God. Con Marcos Amilcar, Amilcar is missing, right? Marcos Amilcar and Christian and Kenny. And Estefania too. Where is Estefania? Estefania se no fue, ¿verdad? Ajá, Amilcar. Amilcar, Amilcar. <laughs> Amilcar is here. And Marcos Antonio. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and um, in the almost restaurant, um, they have very good customer service and serve uh, hot food. Um, they confirm the order, order so as not to have a delay in preparation. Preparation, si, sí, preparation. Es preparación, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, very yes. good. Good. They are follow. They are following good process, right? <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Milkar. Choose another one. We have Kenny, uh, Christian, and Marcos Antonio Melgar Perez. No, ayer lo mencioné. Va a decir que la tengo contra él. Va a decir. No, no. Mention him. Mention him. No, no, no problem, Tokai. No problem. Ah, okay. Sí, lo veo ganoso otra vez. Okay. <laughs> I always, I always do like that. <laughs> no problem, uh, Tokayo. Okay, uh, good night, uh, everybody. Uh, 
What are you talking about, teacher? Marquitos, what happened? <laughs> eh, teacher, you no, have yo sé que a, a restaurant. Dio, you have a restaurant? Yes, I have a restaurant, but we are inventing right now. <laughs> it's not uh, true. I have a restaurant and the name of the restaurant is Almost Restaurant. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about five words? Handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify? No, um, maybe, maybe no, not. It's a, maybe it's tomorrow. A rental, uh, okay, uh, so we we learned those five words yesterday. Now we are practicing. We are put put the words in practice in that conversation. So Amilcar said that the customer service in my restaurant was awesome. Okay, and it's the best restaurant all over the world. No, 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 he didn't say that. <laughs> but he said uh, the customer service was good. Let's continue with that conversation. Uh, Why can you tell uh, us about uh, almost restaurant? Would you like to go? Yes, teacher. I I understand your restaurant uh, is very good. I understand uh, because your handle is a uh, uh, very fast in 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 making orders <laughs> in orders yeah <laughs> uh, uh, your restaurant uh, is um a wonderful food uh, the restaurant almost or almost restaurant i don't know uh, the the food is very very cheap <laughs> one dollar <laughs> no it, it, no it's a lie it's not a dollar but <laughs> ah, it's a lie okay mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 employees the restaurant is very fast uh, arrive no carry carry up the food that's uh, right the the restaurant Almost or almost restaurant. I don't know, teacher. Como, teacher, como es? Almost restaurant. Almost or? restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, almost, almost restaurant. Almost restaurant. Eh, almost restaurant. Hell, no. Almost restaurant. Meal. And no. Almost restaurant. It's very, very good in. In in the place where it's located. It is located exactly because it's near near to the beach, right? You can go to the beach. It's like um, five kilometers close to the beach. <laughs> the the administrator the administrator is very very fast. And very good in in presentation the of the uniform. <laughs> and only that teacher. Very good, Antonio. Let's choose uh, Christian. Who's the last? The last. Who's Christian? Where's Christian, guys? Where's Christian? <laughs> Christian disappeared. Okay, I believe we're done, right? We're done because the other ones are listeners. Very good, um, Marcos. Very good, guys. You did an amazing job, okay? Perfect, perfect. Congratulations because I can see that you are handling all the words. I'm confirming you're handling all the words. So let me make the payment for this. What payment, teacher? <laughs> okay, so... Congratulations, guys, okay? That is the way that you can go ahead and put in practice the vocabulary. So let me continue on the page 17, okay? Page 17, and we will work on this. Um, which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you know establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues and why? Okay, here we have one, two, three, four, five issues. 
most common issues or most common problems, problems sorry, that the restaurant can have. So what, what are the issues that you know that a, that a restaurant can have, okay? Let's see, is there a way that, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm, Alexis, Osvin, could you please help me to read the number one issue? Issue number one, Luis Alberto, issue number two. Marielos, issue number, ah, Marielos, you're missing Marielos, la conversación. <ríe> Ni modo, Marielitos, ¿qué Ay, se nos mira, había hecho? No, me, me sacaba y entraba. O sea, ah, ok, ok. Aquí está. Ok, bien. no worries. Thank you, Marielos. That's what I was looking at you and I didn't, I didn't see you before, but thank you. Marielos, you help me to read the number three, ok? Okay, number one, sí, okay. Thank you. Okay, the waiter gets your, your food you did not ask for. That happens, right? What do you think? Is that common or not, guys? Yeah, it's common. Is it common that the when waiter it, gets your food you didn't order? It's right? It's common when the restaurant is full because the way it uh, make a mistake. That's right. I, that I think right. depends what the restaurant are you visiting because uh, 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 most a lot of restaurants checks two to time what is the what is the the the, 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 what's the, the order? The, 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 the order, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, it happens mm. to me once. Once, sorry that I interrupt. That they confirm like three times <laughs> what my order was, and they they at the end I didn't get what I asked for. But that was like a once in a while. That happened in I don't know. But yes, it happens to me. So I don't, I don't know what might be the problem, right? What do you think, guys? That is the right procedure to reduce this issue. What would you do if you were the owner of the administrator of the restaurant? What would you do? ¿Qué harían ustedes para evitar este problema? Maybe, maybe reduce the the knowledge for the waiter okay perfect okay. Very when, good. when the when the waiter um have a lot of table in church mm -hmm. uh, they make a, a lot of mistakes to reduce the work reduce the work the table that's right. Whenever the waiter has a, uh, has a lot of tables, right, to serve, they might be confused. Very good. To reduce the work. Okay, very good. What about you, Luis Alberto? Sorry, you were saying something? What? Sorry? Did you mention something about how to reduce this issue? Uh, yes, uh, at the beginning. Yes, tell, tell us, Luis Alberto, because yeah. we couldn't hear you. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we have to try uh, to increase the knowledge and the employees mm -hmm. about the menu and manage the names and the list in the menu uh, in the best way. And um, ask uh, to all employees uh, what is the best uh, way to do uh, Exactly, exactly. Very good. Good job, Luis Alberto. Good job, Osbin. All right, let's go to the number two. Who, oh, Luis Alberto, who, could you please help me to read the number two? Okay. okay, the food takes too long to be served uh, after ordering it. Um, Very good. Do you believe that is a common problem? That is a common issue? Um, yes, I was in a restaurant that um, getting in this problem. Um, they're uh, falling in this problem uh, and uh, make a lot of mistakes uh, because 
um, yes, uh, a too long time uh, yeah. that, have, that you have to wait to eat your, your food. And the problem is uh, very common uh, with um, uh, in a big restaurant, for example, uh, where are a lot of people, a lot of orders, and uh, the menu is uh, a big list of dishes and another things that can um, introduce more and more uh, mistakes uh, in the team of employees. Exactly. Do you know, guys, that this problem can be reduced if they have more personnel? No, if they have more staff, more waiters, or more uh, people that can prepare the food? I don't know. What do you think, Sabrina? What do you believe that can reduce? What, what would you do? What would the process or the procedure that could you that you that would you implement to reduce this issue? I may I hire two more uh -huh. waiters. Mm -hmm. To hire more waiters, and also I believe that the person that cook, I mean more people that also? cook, right? More people that cook. All right, very good. What do you think, guys? Another another thing that you could do to reduce this problem? I work in this rubro. <laughs> work in this field. And this field, very good. And this field. I work in this field, and uh, they have a number of procedure. For for example. It uh, is one customer service per uh, 10 tables, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, some places don't, uh, don't have this procedure. They have one person for the double or uh, 20 tables. So this is... This uh, is the problem, right? That it's just one person for... Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, my God. One person for 20 tables? Yes, it's... That is the reason why. I hate, guys, whenever you go to a good restaurant and, and food is good, and then you need to wait a lot of time. Yes, I hate that. But, okay. Sometimes you wait because food is delicious, right? All right, so what about the number three, Marielos? Could you please read it? Number three. The, the waiter is not polite. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> who who <laughs> believes that is an issue, guys? Is that an issue? Is that a common issue? Quality, um, mm, uh, quality, um, and I haven't not had the problem. Aum, aum. <laughs> no yet. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, pero, and that, if it happened, happened. Mm -hmm. If Could that you, happens uh, to you, uh, explain in the customer, explain the customer. Yes. The, that, that. Uh, the customer in the very, very, um, very fine. Okay, muy bien. Okay. Thank you, Ma thank you, Marielos. Thank you. Very good. Okay, so yes, guys, I'm in agreement with her. I believe that I, I, I have had this experience before. It's not good. And yes, that would affect the customer service, right? Let's see, what about the number four? Could you please read it, Marcos Antonio, number four? The, the, dish, the dish 
you want to order is not available, but it but is but it uh it uh, appears the prayer list in the in the menu. Very good in the menu. Very good. Yes, that happens, right? Do you believe that's a common issue? <sighs> I have a bad experience about that. Really? They have five dish in menu and only one it's was available. Uh, was available. <laughs> yes. Wow. What do you believe that can what is the process that we can apply to reduce this issue, guys? What can we do to reduce this issue? Uh-huh. In the menu, announcement in the menu, so loud. Uh, it, it is appearing on this. Ah, uh, yeah. It's very difficult to do the to have the ingredients available right to make sure you have the ingredients available for you to have that that type of food that type of dish or, or yeah, not have to excuse me to be from raw material to make the dishes exactly you should have the material the ingredients um yeah available right make sure you have them every day for you to have all the dishes in your menu all right sometimes i believe that what happens guys i don't know if that happens to you guys no se escucha mucho ruido de parte mía no que está lloviendo fuerte no no your sound is good okay so I believe what happens is that, well, this is what people in the restaurant have told me, I don't know. They say sometimes they don't have the dish or they don't have the food because it's not common. Uh, it means that it's the less common food that people ask. That's why they don't waste money to get the ingredients for that kind of dish, all right? Because people do not, do not ask for the dish. People say that in the restaurant, I don't know. I believe that if that happens, they better eliminate from the list. They better eliminate the dish from the list. I mean, if not all the people is asking for the dish, then let's go ahead and eliminate from the menu, right? But I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just saying something. I'm not a specialist on that. But I believe that might be one of the things that, that we can do, right? Maybe the dish uh, can be uh, the most popular in the restaurant. And, exactly. Uh, yeah. It is uh, very difficult to, um, to get um, a big one to, to do this kind of dish. Exactly. And the goal is all the time for this kind of dish. And... Um, Tells that all all the dishes. That's right. You're 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 fine exactly. Um, guys, todavía escuchan, me escuchan bien. Saben que estoy viendo en la aplicación y veo de que como es una aplicación gratis, verdad? Solamente me dan 60 minutos al día. Por eso no entendía, pero ya no me está funcionando. <laughs> La aplicación que les recomendé la vez pasada que reduce los sonidos. So, no sé si tienen problemas para escucharme, me dejan saber, ¿ok? Escucha bien. Yo creo sure. que estoy gritando. Perdónenme. Sí, teacher, se ve que en la playa está. Vea. <risa> Será. <risa> La teacher, qué mentira, que ahí hay una gran huracán en la playa, ¿sabes? I wish, I wish, pero el weather is not letting me. El weather ni, ni nada me está dejando ir a la playa. 
thank you. Okay, very good, guys. What about the last one? Um, Ma Marcos Antonio? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Jose Rene, could you please help me to read the last one? The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. <laughs> that that happens whenever you don't know the restaurant, right? And it is first time. And then, oh my God, you say, I won't, I won't come to that restaurant anymore. What do you think? Is that a common issue? Whenever the dish differs, it's not the same from the actual dish and the waiter. I mean, from the actual dish that is in the menu. No. Not the same. Is that a common, common issue? Daniel Arquimedes, is that a common issue, Mabel? What do you think? Yes, it's common, teacher. It's and common, some, right? Some restaurant <laughs> offered um, a dish with uh, food and when they uh, bring the dish, it's a different. It's completely different, yes. And you are like, this is not the dish I asked for. <laughs> oh my God. And then they said, oh, I'm sorry. It is because I don't have this ingredient. Oh, I'm sorry. It is because that. Yes. And they, they start giving you excuses, right? That happens. Mm. Okay, guys, very good. Thank you very much for that discussion. You did it awesome, okay? I will go through the attendance list, guys, because uh, it's time to go to, to the attendance already. Well, I am going to the attendance. Mientras voy a la attendance, guys, vamos a hacer este reading rapidito, okay? Y este reading es acerca de some procedures uh, that we have. We have some procedures, A, B, C, D, E, and F procedures. And we have some descriptions here, okay? We have some descri descriptions. Our purpose is to match. What is towel food? What is hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, and tasting method? Let's look for the description and let's look for the best, the match with the description, with the procedures, okay? <coughs> Sorry, let's read them. And I will go through the attendance, okay? Leamos esto, guys. Si voy a ir a la attendance, please, vamos a hacer el match. Vamos a hacer el match del procedure. Este es el procedure y este es el description. For example, wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails and dry. Is that a hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, etc.? You will choose hand washing. Hand washing, right? Very good. All right, let's do it, and I will go through the attendance list, guys. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Oh my God. Yes. 
Pero pasar en su cuaderno a su libro se lo van a realizar y no lo va a tener visto. Hello guys, do you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sorry, hace poco sí que de verdad sentía yeah. yo que no se escuchaba nada, nada, nada. Ni yo escuchaba. So, voy a pasar la attendance list ahorita. Sorry for the, for the delay. Pero sí abajo un poquito. Ángel Estefanía Marroquí Martínez. Thank you. One moment, please. Cristian Josué López Pérez. No está Cristian. No, right? Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Presente, teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro Flores. López, sorry. Jorge, Jorge está aquí. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Let me see if I have Emmanuel here. Josué Manuel. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present, present, coach, present. Yes, present. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Creo que Julio también tiene problemas ahorita. 
Julio César Ramírez Saravano. Yes. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. me escuchó, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh, yes, Julio yes. Julio Merino, ok. Solo me falta eh, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Creo que está tratando de, pero ustedes lo escuchan, yo no lo escucho, guys. No sé si será por... Acá en el chat describió que, está com que comenzó a llover fuerte, pero no. Sí, verdad. Ha... Sí. Sí, es que cuesta escuchar y hablar así, guys, pero thank you. Um, ¿Quién y Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos? Present, dicho. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Garmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Dinora Llanes Hernández. <coughs> Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Ok. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. Ok, perfect guys, thank you. Julio César Ramírez está por ahí. Sí, tiene problemas con la conexión. No le escuchamos, pero I believe you're trying. Ok, guys. Uh, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and resolve this right now. Let's resolve it, ok? So, what is the number, the description number one? Wash your hands and forehand, forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Dry. What is that procedure, guys? What is the letter of the procedure? Letter B. Letter B, right? Letter B, hand washing. Yes? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Hand what about washing. the number two? Take a sample of the food you want to taste on. And it's, sorry, take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. What is it, guys? Yeah. Excuse me? Yes. Tasting me, though. Letter S. Tasting metal. I think it's letter E. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Letter F or letter, letter D? Yeah. What do you think? Letter D. D, the last one. The last one. Oh my God. Sorry, guys, que no, no encontraba el, el mouse, se me había como quedado ahí trabado. Sorry, se escucha mi background, guys, pero sí está horrible. Uh, letter F, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
We can hear you, Miss Almo. We can hear your voice. Leonard, you uh, mute, teacher. Sorry. So it's Stacy method, right? Letter F. What about the next one? Buy packaged food only for licensed suppliers. Letter E, poor chef. Which letter is it? Letter E. Portions? This one? Yes. Letter E. Okay, perfect. Letter E. Uh, what about the next one? To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Letter A. Cowing food. Cowing A. A? Yes, A. All right. What is towing, guys? What is towing food? It's to let frozen food. Huh? Descongelar. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Good job. Okay. What about the next one? Employees who receive and storage food organize items in the incorrect place to avoid bacteria. Is food, food storage. Food storage. Food storage. All right. That letter D. What about le the last one? Equipment is wa um, washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Sanitizer, right? Huh? Sanitizer, right? Sanitizer. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, let's repeat this after me. Just give me one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Let's repeat after me. Let's repeat. Let's practice the pronunciation right now regarding this. Let's repeat after me. Um, let me see. Hand washing. Repeat after me. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Okay. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Wash, wash your hands and your hands with Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Dry. Dry. Let's see. Uh, tasting method. Tasting method. Metas. 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 Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. A spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. Put the sample on a second away from the cooking area and taste the product. And taste the product. Area. 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 Spoon. 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 Product. 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 
Uh, let's see letter E. Purchase. 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 Buy packaged food only from licensed suppliers. Buy package only from supplier. Suppliers. Package. 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 Suppliers. 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 Cowing food. Cowing food. To let frozen food from. To let frozen food from. Sorry, okay, I didn't finish. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Ready to cook. Frozen. 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 Food storage. Food storage. Food storage. Food storage. Employees who receive and storage for organized items in a correct in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Employees who receive and storage food organized items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Let's repeat, employees. 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 Receive. 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 Storage. Storage. Organize. 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 Items. Items. Bacteria. Bacteria. Letter C. Sanitizing. Sanitizing. Equipment is washed. Sorry. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. After each dish is prepared. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Look at these three. Look at these three examples. Are in the three different ways of pronunciation. Here we have the T sound. Here we have the D sound, and here we have the D E D sound. Tiene las tres pronunciaciones. So let's repeat after me. Equip, equipment. 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 So let's see the first pronunciation of, of, of the past tense. Washed. 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 At the end. Washed. 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 No, washed. washed. T at the end. I want to tell you that. Washed. 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 There you go. There you go. Washed. Rinsed. Washed. Aquí vamos con la D. Rinsed. 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 Very good. Desinfected. 
Desinfectado. Y esta es la ED, las tres pronunciaciones. Prepared. Aquí volvemos con la D. Prepared. Prepared. Exactly. Now, repeat after me the three pronunciations. Washed, rinsed, and disinfected. Repeat. Very good. It's All right. Uh, That's basic. That was basically the pronunciation of today's pronunciation. Today's pronunciation, right? Um, yes. let me share the screen, okay? And I will go to the next um activity, guys. The next activity is called at the restaurant, okay? Let's watch a video about a restaurant conversation and then create a role play. Vamos a ver un video, guys, and later on you will create a role play in groups of three, okay? 15 minutes to create, sorry, 10 minutes to create the role play and then you go back and you put it in practice. But first, watch a video. Watch a video about a restaurant conversation, okay? Let me stop sharing for a, for a while. And I will share the screen for you to watch this video. Pay attention to the video. You can get ideas about how to make a conversation. You can get vocabulary. You can learn from the video that I will put it, that I will play, sorry. Give me a second, please. Teacher, solo, solo comentarle que eh, Julio Ramirez dice que es, es problema de internet. Oh, que, okay. No escucha nada, dice ahorita. Oh my Por God, ejemplo. that's a, the, yes, I'm sorry to hear that. And thank you for letting us know, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Okay, Muy guys. Bueno. Um, let me share the screen y me avisa si pueden, um, if you can see, okay? Me avisa si pueden ver y escuchar. Let me share the, the, the screen. Do you see the screen? No. 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 Black. no. It's black. Yeah. It's black. <laughs> it's black. Hey. Yes, it's black. Hey. Me, ah, me, the screen me, is black. Uh, me deja saber si escuchan. Hi, I'm Mori. I'll be your waitress today. You listen? Can I get you anything? Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, give me a second. Deme un momentito, solamente arreglo algo acá. Um, Hi, I'm Mori. I'll be your waitress today. Can I get you anything to drink? Just water. Would you like bottled or regular? Regular. And for you? Did you hear that? I'll have a diet. Pueden escuchar. Es teacher. Si se escucha. Oh, te lo he algo por acá. Sorry. Let me fix it. Sorry. Estaba haciendo una configuración del micrófono. I'm Maury. I'll be your waitress today. Can I get you anything to drink? Just water. Would you like bottled or regular? Regular. And for you? I'll have a diet soda. Great. I'll be right back. Have you decided what you'd like? Or do you need some more time? I'll have the grilled chicken and a dinner salad. And what kind of dressing would you like? What kind do you have? Italian, blue cheese, and French. I'll have the Italian. And can you serve that on the side? Of course. And for you, sir? The pepper salmon, is that very spicy? Yes. I don't like spicy. I'll have the steak. And how would you like that cooked? Medium, please. All right, so that's chicken with salad, Italian dressing on the side, and one steak meat. Yes. Thank you. 
Be careful, it's hot. Can I get that for you? Yes, please. And is there anything else I can get you? Uh, may I have a steak knife? Of course. I'll get that right away. How is everything? Excellent. Very good. Great. Are you still working on that? Or shall I wrap that up for you? I'm done. I'll take this to go. Would you like a dessert menu? Yes, please. Would you like coffee? Yes. I'll have some too. Cream or sugar? I'd like some cream. I'll have sugar. Have you decided what you'd like for dessert? I'll have the chocolate cake. And for you? I'll have the cheesecake. Excellent. I'll be right back. Did you enjoy your meal? It was wonderful. Can I get you anything else, or should I get your check? We'll take the check. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Chasing that A and want to save time on proofreading? No le escuchamos, teacher. Aquí te hablo, teacher. Escuchamos, teacher. Miss Ball, must to turn on your microphone. Turn it on your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Very perfect. So I have here this microphone off, and I have the one that in that is on the screen. All right. So how was the conversation? How was the restaurant conversation? Good. Yes, I understand. Yes. 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 Was it a good customer service? It's a good service. Good service. It's a good service. Perfect. Service. Perfect. Would you like to go to that restaurant? Yes. I yes. Know. That is one of they are they are two of my customers, so they are um in my in my restaurant, almost restaurant. <laughs> and that is one of my workers. That, that's why she was smiling, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, so based on that conversation that you watch, let's make a role play. You have 10 minutes right now. You will end at 9.50 with a role play. And that will be in group of three. Van a hacer una conversación, van a hacer un role play en grupo de tres. And then you come back and then we will perform it, okay? Yes. No teacher, maybe teacher. Okay, thank you, Luis. Uh, okay, so guys, voy a unirlos a los break rooms para que empecemos a trabajar en los uh, role plays. Tomorrow we will continue presenting the role plays, but today we finish preparing the role plays, okay? Ahora vamos a terminar con los role plays, o sea, prepararlos y mañana vamos, podemos presentarlos. Don't worry. So you have time to prepare a role play in groups of three, okay? Pueden hacerlo un poco similar a ese. Les puedo compartir el video si quieren. Con gusto. Deme un segundo y se los comparto. And um, you can do it based on your experience. Lo pueden hacer como ustedes deseen también, okay? Don't worry. Pongan en práctica todo lo que han aprendido, guys, all right? Okay, I send it to you already. So, let's go ahead and practice, and once you come back, I will go with the attendance list, okay? Vamos a crear los breaker rooms. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Click on join, guys. Delen click in join, please. Um, los que están de oyente, los voy a poner en un room para que vayan viendo, guys, para que mañana puedan participar. Al menos tener una idea, okay? Okay, let me get a second. Okay. Ya abro los breaker rooms. Deme un segundito, guys. Mm. 
Marina Vanessa, no sé si está como eh, listener today. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Yes. Let's see. Sorry, guys, todavía estoy haciendo los break, los, los, los grupos. Denme un segundo. Um, Bueno, todos los demás están como listeners, guys. Pero voy a poner a un listener por run, ¿ok? Assign to... Ok, click and join, guys, please. Denle click and join. Los que están en de listeners los he puesto para que observen la conversación de los demás. Please, click and join. Ya los mandé los breaker rooms, guys. Okay. Estela Mabel, are you there? Mabel, are you there? Mabel, Mabel. Hola, Mabel. No sé si tiene problemas, Mabel. La voy a mover de nuevo. Hello. Vamos a hacer. Oh, the conversation similar as the uh, restaurant video. Uh, I see now more or less the video and mm, I will watch the video again and try to understand what they are talking about. Can yes. you see the video, Stefania and uh, Jose Rene? Yes, I finished. And let's start with a grading from the waiter. Ah, okay, okay, let's see. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no don't worry. Uh, uh, what are you saying? Uh, let's start with a, with a grading from the waiter. For yes. example, hel hello, good day. I Yes, maybe a type of restaurant. I don't know, Mexican food. Mexican. Chinese food. Okay. I like. I like okay. taquiro. <laughs> I like taquiro. <laughs> the words, the word restaurant for English. <laughs> it's most Spanish than English, than English. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Palabras, hand washing. Pero, pero yes. estamos la... <laughs> Le preguntamos. Teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, I didn't yes. hear you very well because it was raining. It's raining, actually. <laughs> It's raining as well, there. Oh, my God. We will make a conversation based on the video. Uh -huh. Puede ser igual, puede ser similar, puede ser súper diferente, pero una conversación que estén las tres en un restaurante. Ok. Una puede ser la waiter y los otros los customers. Ok. Ah, uh, ok. Ha sí, sí, sido muy bien. <risa> no, muy bien. ¿Qué sería una mesera? Who will be the waitress? The waiter. Mm -hmm. Yo. Usted, vaya. 
So, Estela Mabel in, in me. I, the customer. We are going we are to customer. Co we are going to be the customer, and my little will be the waiter. Mm -hmm. okay. So, and so I think Marielos start and he great great off. Nosotros entramos y Marielos como que nos da la bienvenida, ¿verdad? Ah, okay, sí, yo lo he hecho, voy a decirle. Good afternoon. Welcome. Okay. Welcome, welcome. How uh -huh. can I help you? Okay. Can I help you? Good afternoon. Welcome. How can I help you? How can I help you? And maybe Estela can can say a table for two. I'm sorry. What? We we it's like we are. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Vamos entrando al restaurante. We are. You're entering to the restaurant. We are entering to the restaurant. to the restaurant. You're getting to the restaurant. Uh, getting. We are getting to the restaurant, Estela. And Mariano okay. say, say to us, good afternoon, welcome. How can I help you? And you can say a table for two, please. Okay, we are going to be two. Uh, I I see another partner with us. Creo que vamos a hacer una misma conversación todas las tres juntas. Ah, pero es que yo veo cuatro, no no. Es que Marina está de oyente, creo. Ah, Marina vaya, es okay. listener. Perdón. Perdón. Okay. Entonces okay. nosotros vamos a ir entrando. Table to table, table for, for two. two. Table for okay. two. Table for two, please. Uh, uh, good afternoon, good neighbor. Um, uh -huh. Good evening. Marielos. Hola, no sé de nada. Mucho ruido. Hello, hello, guys. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Todo bien? Hello, hello, teacher. It's so hard, it's very difficult because there is a, a lot of noise. In a lot of noise. Marcos yeah. Antonio, ¿cómo vamos con la conversación? Julio Cesar. Good teacher. I am client. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I visited the Tony Roma's restaurant. Okay. Y a, ahorita están practicando ya. ¿Sí? <laughs> sure. Yes, teacher. I, Julio I, Cesar, I, ¿qué I, se nos ha hecho? I hear teacher. I hear. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Practice, guys. Let's practice the conversation, okay? Yes, Imagínense sir. que está en un restaurante. ¿Quién va a ser el, el waiter? Julio Cesar is waiter. Okay. I, I, am, I am client. Yes, I am client too. Ah, uh, Luis Alberto, client too. Okay. Okay. Perdón, una pregunta, guys. Osbin va con ustedes. Yes. Osbin. Ah, okay. Ahorita lo voy a lo voy a pasar para acá. Porque Ay. se nos había salido. Oh my God, lo pasé Aparece. a un grupo que no es. Ahorita lo lo agrego. 
Creo que está teniendo problemas con el internet. Sí, me dice que sí. Bueno, ya lo vuelvo a agregar. Ok, guys. Let's continue practicing, ok? As much okay. as you can. We have eight minutes, ok? Eight minutes to practice. con otra cosa va your your question your answer <laughs> qué es lo que quiere ordenar pregunté <laughs> in English what do you want to order ah okay ah uh, Maria what will what will answer Mariel Oh, okay. Especialmente, yeah. Marielo. Um, hay algo bien bueno. Hay que ver. Es de... Okay. Sería como se llama... Filete de pescado. Envuelto en masa. ¿Ah? Filete de pescado, no sé cómo por eso que te es pescado. Filete, how do you say filete? Stick. Stick. The stick is not just when we are talking about beef. When we. It's filete with. With WL, WL, Billets. Ay, se va a caer el cielo. It's raining here too, and it and it's and it's thunder. Thunder. Yes. Ah. Mami. Están cayendo truenos. Ay, aquí, horrible. Horrible. Aquí, aquí están cayendo truenos. Aquí también. Sí, casi no se escucha. Sí. Casi no se escucha. Yo no, no sé esta combinación, filete de pescado con vegetales. Ay, no. Ok. Entonces, o puede decir. Say... Sí. Or, or just fish with vegetables. Fish, fish with vegetables. vegetables. Uh -huh. Especially is. Fish with vegetable. Disculpe la última palabra que dijo. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetales. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. Ah, okay, vegetable. Vegetable, vegetable. De ahí me respondería. Eh, yo le podría decir, we are going to prove it. Lo probaremos. We are teacher, do you like beer? Uh, Hello. Do you like teacher? We are talking about beer. Do you like drink beer? Um, I don't know. Depend. It depends. National <laughs> or international? Both. <laughs> it depends what. But I don't drink. <laughs> For the question. I don't drink right now, and I. I mean, I don't drink. It is just for, just for tasting. Sometimes it depends on the food. All right. I don't drink too much, but yes, I like. I like it. I like it. 
it has a good taste. It, it's a drink of Guatemala, the Salteca, Jamaica, or Salteca. Mm, you're a good term. There is one that is from, that is uh, or chata, right? No. Uh, yeah. or tamarindo. tamarindo 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 no horchata is is one that is from tamarindo uh, horchata is by sorry is by luisito comunica he made ah, one yeah. from horchata right mm -hmm. no sí. i haven't sí. tasted i haven't tasted i don't know in, in guatemala yeah. i taste the but it's a little bit expensive. Is, is, but it's is good. it delicious? Really? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it tastes like a, a tamarindo. Like a ta ah, like a tamarindo. All right. <laughs> yes. Guys, I believe we will go back. Uh, and if you're still working on that, we will I will give you five more minutes tomorrow. Let me just take a picture of the groups. So I won't forget tomorrow and you won't forget either. <laughs> Let me get a moment. Great teacher. <laughs> cheese. Sorry. Say quesadilla. Oh, yeah, more cheese. <laughs> Taquito. Okay, guys, ahorita nos vamos a regresar, okay? Hi. Hello. Hello. Can hello. you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yes, I've yeah. been. There is a big storm, right? Hmm? Yes, yeah, a big storm. My internet too. Don't worry, I understand, guys. Tomorrow we will continue working on the role play, okay? So you have time. <laughs> ¿Qué le pasa, Marcos? Ah, es que, es que en el restaurante me, este, era tan rápido que, que ni, me, ni me dejaron ordenar. Nos vemos mañana, me dio. Ok. Tú pediste la cuenta. Tú pediste la cuenta. Son Luca, es, eh, mañana vamos a continuar entonces con el roleplay. Le voy a dar tiempo porque igual la, por la tormenta, ¿verdad? Hemos tenido problemas este día. Eh, así que mañana vamos a continuar. Le voy a dar chance para que sigamos trabajando en la conversación en el role ¿ok? Don't worry. Um, so, voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Creo que a todos estamos acá, ¿verdad? Voy a pasar la lista rapidito, guys. Una vez los mencionen, you can go. Eh, déjenme ver nada más ahora. Who's gonna be staying? Jessica está acá con nosotros. Eh, Jorge sí, Alberto aquí estoy. Ah, puede ser el bueno buena hora Jessica ¿Y será que puede ser mañana ticha? yes yes we can do oh, it por favor okay. right. Josué Manuel puede quedarse ahora Josué Manuel creo que tiene problemas con la con el mic con el internet Julio César usted tendría tiempo ahora 10 minutes right now Julio César Julio César Merino Sorry, teacher. Nobody wants. Okay, no, no worries. Yo entiendo, ahora está bien, bien difícil por la... Kenny o Julio Alberto... Sorry. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis o Kenny? Yes, if you want, yes. I, I try. I will try. Thank you, thank you, Luis Alberto. I appreciate it. Ok, voy a pasar a la lista rapidito, guys. Me ayudan con el uh, decir presente y a uh, turn on the camera. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. And by the way, guys, thank you very much for joining. You're doing awesome. We we'll see you tomorrow, ok? See you tomorrow and have sweet dreams, ok? Sweet dreams, guys. Ok. Um, thank you, Estefanía. Bye-bye. Take care. Cristian José López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, Mr. José Almonds. Thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present, teacher. Goodbye.
Goodbye. Bye bye, Daniel. Bye bye, Ezequiel. Uh, Angel Estefanía, sorry. Estela Mabel Oriana del CID. Present teacher, good evening. Bye, take care, Mabel. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Bye bye, Jaime. Bye bye. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez, good night. Present. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Bye bye, Jessica. Bye bye. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present out. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye, Emmanuel. Take care. Julio César Merino González. Present. Uh, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Bye, Julio César. Bye, good night. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Bye bye. Take care. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Hi, Kenny. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Uh, sorry. Let me see. Luis Alberto se queda conmigo, please. Uh, okay. Marta Samilcar Mancía Gutierrez. Thank you. Present teacher. Bye bye, Amilcar. I have a good night. María Dinora Llanes de Hernández. María no Luchanes. Ah, teacher. ok. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Bye bye, María Luz. Bye bye. María Luz. Ah, sorry. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Bye bye, Vanessa. Bye, teacher. teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Bye bye, Osvin. Take her. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present, good night. Good night, Sabrina. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. Bye good bye, night. Marcos. Good night. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Pre present. Thank you. Bye bye, okay. José. Take care. Yeah. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martinez. I believe he's not joining. What is your WhatsApp? Okay. Um, Hello, hello, Luis Alberto. How are you today? I'm good. Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, it's very hot. It is because it's raining. I don't feel the fun is on, <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. So thank you very much for staying, uh, Luis Alberto. I really appreciate your time. And um, this space is made for you. You have 10 minutes right now in order for you to tell me if you have any feedback, any opinion about the class, if you have something that you would like to reinforce. If there, if there is a topic that it was difficult for you and you would like to get more practice, or if you have any comment, right? If there's anything that I can do in your learning process about this, um, foreign language right which is english if there's anything that i can do for example you can say you know what teacher for me it's very difficult the listening or or the speaking or the reading or the writing is difficult so i can see what what i can do for you any tip any practice that i can give you or i can focus on your on that part exactly on you right so that is basically it. I use these 10 minutes a lot in order to listen to your needs, in order to listen to what, what, what actually you need, right? In this course for me to help you. So let's do it, Luis. You are more than welcome to do it. What can I do for you in this course? And I mean, don't be ashamed. Tell me whatever you think, whatever you want. I can, I can help you with the language, okay? Okay, um, I think the course is very good for me. Level is uh, working, I think, for me. Uh, I think so. And um, I am learning really, really a lot. And, uh, but I need to practice a little more, maybe, and uh, uh, practice. Um, 
listening uh, a little more to uh, to practice uh, that I need. But and I'm working in that, and I am looking for a good way to learn a little more to listen. And uh, um, I watch videos and um, read books from listen audios from the radio, uh, from the podcast um, in um, Spotify, uh, YouTube, uh, list, uh, playlist, and um, other kind of uh, websites and uh, other kind of uh, resources for me that I can uh, get uh, results to really appreciate uh, the effort is very difficult uh, to teach um, a big group um, like this and and I think uh, you can uh, help us and I can learn a little more from your knowledge Great. And um, yes, I really I think I think that I that I need to to practice or listen a little more. Listen. But um, mm -hmm. uh, one thing in this first, uh, I can see that the mistake from the, the team or the co uh, mm -hmm. classmates. Sorry, from the classmates. Uh, I have a lot of um, mistakes that I know what is um, what is the, the, the reason, but uh, so because uh, we're um, learning, yeah. But um, it's difficult to learn the, the correct way to pronounce some words if you don't uh, show the mistake to all. And, um, I will appreciate that uh, because people um, make um, um, like a custom do something uh, in the same way all the time. Uh, if, uh, we have a bad habit to pronounce too bad uh, a lot of things. It's very difficult to learn uh, clear what is the correct way to pronounce. Yeah. And on that, I think it's very good the class, uh, the, the work that you are doing is very good. Uh, you explain very clear. And uh, I think um, that we are learning um in a good level really i think it's only that the details in pronunciation and say that we are uh, making in the maybe um the, the people in the group there is the uh, disconnected Sometimes or working, and sometimes I am working through the class because I I have to do that. But um, I am attending all the class. I try to do that, and uh, um, I think that is very difficult for all. And but. Um, I think that uh, we can uh, use your your class and your knowledge to to learn how to pronounce uh, very well, step by step, and uh, learn more vocabulary uh, day by day, and uh, get fluent uh, in some month on the future. Wow, I thank you very much for all this. That's what I like 
different this session, the one-on-one -on -one session, because we as teacher, we have different perspective, right? About the class. And it for me is very important to have this kind of conversations, mostly because we're getting feedback, we're getting opinion, we're getting comments about the class. Sometimes we don't notice some, some details that students notice, right? And it's important to apply what you need, right? What you need. And in this case, you have told me that one of the things that is one of your weaknesses, the listening session. Here in this program, we don't have too much listening sessions, but I try to apply like extra activities. For example, today's activity about the role play, it was not part of the program, but I apply it because we do not uh, normally apply too much listening sessions here. So I try to apply the ones that I can because uh, we have a policy that we cannot apply extra external uh, material, right? But whenever I get a resource or I get a video or I get a listening that is, I mean, the copying is not so clear, <laughs> I use them. I use them in a class. And that was one of the of the role, one of the videos that I could use, the one that we use today. So um, I share in the um, in the WhatsApp group one of the web uh, one of the websites that I always use, which is Randall's. I don't know if you have heard about it. Randall's Lab. It's, it's, it is like that. Yes, Randall's is eslab.com. Is a wonderful website where you can practice not only listening, right? But you can have a lot of practice. But I really like the website because of the listening session. Uh, the name of the person who always like is recording this type of audios or podcast is Randall. Randall, oh my God, he has a really good pronunciation and that's what I really like those videos. So, that was one of my tips. Let's go ahead and try to explore, okay, this, this website. It's gonna be a lot of useful. You can choose the level. Uh, whenever you click on the, on the website, there are different type of levels. We have elementary, intermediate, advanced, etc. In order for you to practice, easy, intermediate, and difficult, sorry. You choose some of them and you choose, for example, listening sessions. And you will be able to listen to some podcasts made from Randall. Randall, which is the person who record, records this. So that's going to be very useful for you. Another thing that I recommend for your listening session, of course, I, I will try to apply the most that I can in this skill, which is listening. And besides this, another thing that I recommend to you is watching uh, movies in English and also to put the subtitle in English as well. So you will be comparing the pronunciation, right, with the listening. That will help you a lot. That will help you a lot. If you have a person or someone native, like from UK or from United States that you can speak with, or at least that you can listen, that will be great because that's the only way that we can um, learn the best pronunciation from a native speaker. That will be awesome if you do that. Yeah. I can say that for least for for developing or for improving this listening and skill, um, here in El Salvador is a little bit complicated because we don't have. I mean, the environment is not English, right? So it's very complicated to get it. Unless you have a job which you are involved with native speakers. If you are involved with native speakers, then you will have the best learning. You will finish learning over there with them. But if you don't have this experience, it's difficult. It's difficult and you need to get more resources like the ones that I'm giving you. But if you have the chance to speak with someone from uh, United States or UK, someone that is native, that will be great for your listening as well for your speaking, right? 
But for listening, that's the best. But since you don't, if you don't have one, then you can use this type of resources, right? The ones that I'm telling you. That's in regards of what you told me, right? About the uh, listening skill. In regards of what you told me about the feedback, thank you very much. I know it's very important to provide feedback, right? And I will continue applying this. I know it's very important to know exactly what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, right? So now that we are in intermediate, it's very important to apply it. Previously in basic, I didn't apply it too much because I was, I was with them uh, in, in basic as well because they were nervous because they were, um, they, they didn't want to practice. They didn't want to talk at, at all. Yeah, so they, they were afraid of doing so. So I was, I didn't want to do so at the beginning because they were like, oh my God, I won't practice anymore because she's saying this and that. That happens to me at the beginning because I was the student as I was a student as well. So that helped me a lot. But now this is not the first time that I noticed that I need to apply more the feedback at the moment that they are mispronunciating the words or they are applying um, a wrong grammatical structure, right? So thank you very much. I really need to apply more this and I thank you. And um, thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Luis Alberto. I will go ahead and, and try to do my best so you can continue learning in this course right to apply different type of um, activities speaking activities reading activities writing activities and also listening activities because all four skills should be developed at the end of the course right so it's a, it's a process and by the way i didn't say that at the beginning but uh, i i i want to say congratulations you have a, a great um oh my god um how do you say that i forget the word it's not a yes a good pronunciation yes fluency your fluency is very good where did you where did you learn english at the beginning where did you start learning yeah i was studying in two two places i was studying in uh, Inter-American school from Santa Ana in another oh. um, academy in Huachapan because I I come from Huachapan. And really great. Yes. And uh, I'm living uh, here in San Salvador right now, but I I'm from Huachapan. And I was learning. You're living in San Salvador in right now. Places. Sorry. Yes, near near San Salvador. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, but I, I, um, I was studying in two, two places. Uh, maybe oh. um, five years ago, uh, I started. And um, I had to cut uh, the course because uh, I was working. The time uh, was very short to, to, to take classes. And um, some, uh, sometime, no, maybe two years um, after that, uh, I started to, to study. Uh, I, I, I was back in the in class of the language language. And I think um, I was learning um, um, in the to both places, I was learning uh, different uh, ways. In a to, different way, to, yes. To understand mm -hmm. the English language, and uh, uh, it was increase, increase my, my knowledge. Increase your knowledge. Well, that's pretty awesome. And